Hey guys, it's Leia. Last video we learned about how to solve integrals with trig powers of sine and cosine. This video we will learn how to solve them when they are in terms of secant and tangent. Before we start, it is important to review this trig identity and these two trig derivatives. They will be very helpful when learning how to solve these integrals. We'll start by learning the strategy first and then follow it up with an example. So our first strategy is when tangent of x has an odd power. What we'll want to do first is take out and save a factor of secant of x times tangent of x in the integrand and then rewrite the rest in terms of secant of x using this trig identity. Here's our first example. We have the integral of tangent of x cubed times secant of x to the fifth with respect to x. First, we want to save a factor of secant of x times tangent of x. So we'll do this by taking out one tangent of x from tangent of x cubed and one secant of x from secant of x to the fifth. Now we can reorganize slash rewrite how it looks. Next, we'll use the trig identity tangent of x squared equals secant of x squared minus 1, and we'll replace tangent of x squared in the integrand with this. Now it's time to use u substitution. We set u equal to secant of x, and so du equals tangent of x times secant of x dx. We substitute u and du back into the integrand, and we get the integral of the difference of u squared minus 1 times u to the fourth du. After using the power rule, we'll finally get our answer, which is 1 seventh times secant of x to the seventh minus 1 fifth times secant of x to the fifth plus c. Next, we will learn how to solve these integrals when secant of x has an even power. In this case, we pull out and save a factor of secant of x squared and then rewrite the rest in terms of tangent of x using this trig identity. Alright, next example. We have the integral of secant of x to the fourth times tangent of x to the fourth with respect to x. So first, we want to pull out and save a factor of secant of x squared, and we pull that out of secant of x to the fourth. Next, we use the trig identity secant of x squared equals tangent of x squared plus 1, and we're going to substitute that in for the secant of x squared, not the one we pulled out, the one in the parentheses. Now we can use u substitution to solve the rest of the integral. We'll set u equal to tangent of x, and then we'll set du equal to secant of x squared dx. So we'll substitute u and du in the integrand, and we'll get the integral of the sum of u squared plus 1 times u to the fourth du. And after using the power rule, we'll get 1 seventh times tangent of x to the seventh plus 1 fifth times tangent of x to the fifth plus c. So we've seen how to solve these problems and seen their examples, but let's go through a summary of how to solve these integrals one more time. So if tangent of x has an odd power, we save a factor of secant of x times tangent of x and then rewrite the rest in terms of secant of x and use u sub to solve the rest, setting u equal to secant of x. Now if secant of x has an even power, we save a factor of secant of x squared and then rewrite the rest in terms of tangent of x. We'll then use u substitution to solve and we'll set u equal to tangent of x. However, if tangent of x has an odd power and secant of x has an even power, then you can use either method you want to solve the integral. These integrals follow the same strategy as the integrals with trig powers of sine and cosine. So they require practice as well to get the hang of how to solve them. So for more help on this topic, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the practice tab. Also, to see more in-depth step-by-step solutions, you can visit the website.